Now let's look at the limits of products and the limits of quotients. Products work like sums and differences worked. The limit of a sum is the sum of the limits. The limit of a difference is the difference of the limits. And the limit of a quotient is the quotient of the limits. In terms of examples, let's say the limit as x approaches a three of x minus four times x plus one. We can use this rule to break this limit into two, like so. The limit of a product becomes the product of the limits. And we can find each of these limits using the techniques of the previous video. This limit of the difference becomes the difference of limits. This limit of a sum becomes the sum of limits. And each of these limits we can find. The limit of x, the limit of a constant, the limit of x, the sorry about that. The limit of a constant, so negative one times four. is negative four. The limit of a quotient is what you'd expect it to be probably at this point, except that there is a wrinkle. The limit of a quotient is the quotient of the limits. You probably expected that. It was true of addition, subtraction, and multiplication as well. But here we have an added restriction. Because of course, we can't divide by zero. So if the limit as x approaches c of g of x equals zero, we can't Sorry about that, internet just cut out for a second there. I was saying that if this limit equals zero, we can't use this rule because it would give us a division by zero error. And let me end this video with a warning. If the limit as x approaches c of g of x does equal zero, what does that tell us? Well, the answer is not a lot. If this limit is zero, we cannot use this rule, but the limit might still exist. And we'll see some examples of this later on in this very section.
action. So be careful with that. The denominator going to zero doesn't mean the limit doesn't exist. It just means we can't use this rule to find the limit. Although, to be clear, the limit might exist or it might not. We have to approach these problems on a case-by-case -case basis.